Today, we're gonna talk about polishing. Specifically, we're gonna talk about one-step polishing. What is a one-step polish? Well, in a lot of our other videos, we talk about removing swirls and scratches using a machine polisher, but using two to three steps to achieve 99% defect-free results. Oftentimes, a professional can spend 20 to 30 hours polishing a vehicle to achieve this result. It can often take days to get the best look. But what if you have a car that's a daily driver, or you don't want to invest 20 to 30 hours into your polishing routine to get good results? Well, then you go for the one step. The one step is removing as many swirls and scratches as you can with one step. Oftentimes, you can do this and achieve very good results if the car has minimal damage. But today, I'm going to show you guys how a one step can be affected on heavily neglected paint. So right here, I have a hood that we got from a junkyard. It's black. It's neglected, it has swirls, scratches, and holograms all over the hood. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to one-step polish using one polish, one pad, and one machine to achieve results that you can achieve on a Saturday afternoon just hanging out around the garage. So to do this today, I'm gonna to use a few products to get those good results. I'm gonna use V36, our optical grade cutting polish. This is a medium grade cutting polish that cuts well, but finishes good, so we can get a great result on this black paint. Next, I'm gonna use a Flex 3401 dual action polisher. This is the Flex polisher, and a lot of people call it the Mercedes Benz of dual action polishers because it's extremely smooth to use and can get results that are very powerful. I'm also gonna team that with a five and a half inch Hexlogic orange pad. This is gonna do all my cutting, and it's gonna give a nice finish that truly a lot of people are gonna be really satisfied with, especially seeing the change from this muted, dull, neglected surface to a nice, shiny, black surface that truly everybody wants to see. We're also gonna use a couple quality microfiber towels. These are silk lined blue 16 by 16 microfiber towels. And to show you a difference between the old and the new, I'm gonna use some basic blue painter's tape. So this hood right here is neglected. It has a lot of swirls and scratches, holograms, as you can see in the pictures. So we're gonna get started and show you guys how to polish. So let's put a tape right down the middle and let's polish one side and show you what one step polishing is all about. So now we got a nice 50-50 tape right down the middle of the hood so I can show you a good before and after of what we're gonna be polishing. So you might be asking why I chose V36 as my polish. When there's V32 and V34, which can also cut and are stronger and can remove this heavily damaged surface. Because as you can see from the video, this hood is very, very damaged. As a scale of one to 10, I would think this is in the nine to 10 range. Extremely bad stuff that you will not see in the detailing field if you're a professional. So I chose V36 because when you're machine polishing, you don't wanna start with the most aggressive polish. You wanna start with the least aggressive and you can always add on a heavier polish if you choose. So I went ahead and grabbed V36 because V36 is a medium grade cutting polish. It's gonna remove swirls and scratches, but it's gonna finish out nicely. When you're doing a one step, you need to pick a good balance between cutting ability and finishing ability. And that's what V36 is good at. It finishes very well, but removes all the swirls and scratches from the surface to give a nice even finish. Uh, doing a one step is all about compromise. If you use too little of an aggressive polish, it will not cut through all the swirl, scratches, holograms, and defects. And if you use too heavy of a polish, you're gonna cut through the surface, but you're gonna leave marring and you're not gonna finish out right. And you're still gonna have all these odd swirls and scratches in the surface. V36 is a great compromise. Find your best compromise for your paintwork. We're also compromising with the orange pad because it's not a heavy cut like a yellow pad, and it's not a light polishing pad like a white. So it's gonna remove all these swirls and scratches, give a nice fine finish. Once you see the 50-50 difference, you're gonna be shocked because it really is gonna remove all these swirls and scratches and give a nice finish. So I'm gonna grab my 3401 dual action polisher equipped with a chemical guys five inch backing plate, which is gonna allow me to run a five and a half inch hex logic pad with our chemical guys logo on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on the machine and go ahead and get started with the polishing. So I'm gonna take my V36 optical grade cutting polish, I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna start out with five small dots.
There we go, that is just enough to get started with the polishing. I'm also gonna grab some water, this is just basic water, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pad with two light sprays before we get started. And the reason I did this is because I want lubricity as I start the polishing because it's a brand new pad and I don't want any dry friction on my surface. So now let's go ahead and get started with the polishing. If you're unfamiliar with polishing, we have several other videos online that go in detail on how to set up the polisher, how to apply the polish and the proper technique. But hopefully today, this will give you a basic understanding of how to one-step polish, because one step is what a lot of you guys are gonna do out there on your daily driver, or your work truck, or maybe a car that you're just looking to buy, detail, and then sell on the side. So let's go ahead and polish this hood. I'm gonna polish this side of the hood and leave this side uh, unpolished so you can see the difference between a good before and after. So let's go ahead and get started and polish this hood. So now we're seeing a big difference between the old and the new. And V36 in the orange pad is removing all the swirls and scratches, giving a nice bright finish that's clear with optical clarity. That's what's cool about V36 is it's designed to restore optical clarity to any color finish. And as everybody knows, black is a true test for any detailer out there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw some more V36 on my 3401 dual action polisher, and I'm gonna polish out the rest of this hood so we can see that final result and that beautiful 50-50 difference. So let's get back to polishing and show you those awesome results. So now I finished polishing the last section of this hood and it brought back all that gloss that we were looking for. Removed all the swirls and scratches and for a one step did an amazing job with restoring the finish. So now you need to put a wax on your surface after you polish it because once it's polished, it has no wax and no protection. So I grabbed the best wax I could think of to place on the surface and this is black because from the darkest of places shines the brightest of lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up black and apply it to this fresh black paintwork. Black is really cool because it has synthetic polymers built into the wax that's gonna protect it longer than a normal traditional carnauba. So I got a little black on my pad. And I'm gonna go ahead and wax this entire hood. Make, make it look real crisp and bright. What's cool about black is that a little bit of black goes a real long way. When you apply black, you want to apply it in lines. You don't want to apply it in a circular motion because if you apply it in lines, you'll get the best coverage over the entire hood. So I'm using one of our new European black foam applicator pads for this job. I like this pad because it fits easily in my hand and it gives me a good grip and control of what I'm doing. And as you can see, just one swipe of black actually allowed me to do this whole hood without going back for any more product. That's the best part about black is that black goes a long way. So you can get well over 100 applications out of this one pot. It's a great way to protect your vehicle and protect your investment. So I wanna grab a little bit more just to get any little spots that I missed and get that nice fresh look. There we go. Now we got a nice coat of black all over the surface. 
but I gotta let black dry. Black requires a 20 minute dry time to give that best look and to give that ultimate shine. So I'm gonna wait 20 minutes, then I'm gonna come back and remove black. See you in 20. So now we waited 20 minutes and our black is dry to the surface on this crisp black paint. So I'm gonna take a black microfiber towel and remove the black wax to show you guys the results. Now that we got that black wax removed, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this tape and show you the 50-50 difference. Now we're gonna see what all that polishing ended up at and we're gonna show you that nice bright finish. So let's take off this tape and show you the 50-50 power of a one-step V36 polish. Let's remove this tape. So there we go. Now, this is the result of all our polishing work. We have this old side over here, which is neglected, rough, years of oxidation, scratches, washing with improper pads. This was sitting in a junkyard for years. We went and got it from a junkyard to polish it and show you the difference. Now we have this side, a nice, crisp, black difference with no swirls and scratches, and it removed a good amount of all the swirls and scratches. When you're doing a one step, you're not concentrating on removing all the swirls and scratches, you're only concentrating on improving the paintwork. So to improve the paintwork from going this side onto this polished black side, that's a huge drastic difference. And everybody in the car industry can uh, admit that that's a big difference and an awesome power of one step polish. V36 really impresses in the one step polishing range because it can take a paint from this side to this side. So let's take a few minutes and let's just look at the difference. Now you've seen the true polishing power of V36. We went and took this junkyard hood, which is neglected and has all this abuse and took it from neglected to perfection in just a matter of minutes using a machine polisher and V36. It's a great way to restore the finish on your daily driver or your old car in your garage on a Saturday afternoon. That's the power of V36. It can finish awesome, and remove all of the imperfections and defects quickly and easily. So if you have any more questions about our black wax or our V36, you can check us out on our YouTube account, our Facebook, or you can find me and all these cool products hanging out at chemicalguys.com.